Hi everyone, my name is Deborah, and this is the edit by DH. Welcome to another video, and yes, it's another Lisa Eldridge video. I mean, on one hand, it's so great for me and all you Lisa Eldridge fans, but I feel like I'm just releasing Lisa Eldridge content every time. The reason why I'm doing it is just because she's been releasing more stuff than normal. Usually she would release collections or products seasonally. So maybe twice a year, for example, spring and then like spring, summer, autumn, winter sort of thing. But obviously right now, because she has a pop-up studio, there's been a lot more releases in line with her pop-up studio to celebrate her pop-up studio. So she has finally launched her Liquid Lurex eyeshadows. So these you will be familiar with if you've seen all my Lisa Eldridge videos. I showed you swatches of all five shades of the new Liquid Lurex eyeshadows and I didn't know a release date. To be honest with you, I get a lot of questions in my comment section and DMs about, you know, do you know when something will be released? And often the answer is no. I can give you an approximate time scale, but the reason why I can't give you an idea or an accurate idea, should I say, is because her team don't know. <laughs> if you saw my last video on the visit to the House of Eldridge, the masterclass that I attended and finally meeting the lovely Lisa herself, you will know that I asked about the launches of everything, including the liquid eyeshadows. And at the time they were not sure and they said probably the first week of December. This is what they said. So fast forward a couple of days later, so that was Tuesday, and then on the Friday of the same week, they suddenly put a story up on Instagram saying, hey, we're launching the eyeshadows today in the studio. So that was a bit annoying because I thought, I was just there three days ago and you guys didn't know when it was launching. Anyway, so I made a mad dash on the weekend to the store, quickly popped, picked it up just before closing time, managed to get there. And I decided to get three of the five shades only because I've spoken about this again in a previous video. I have so much makeup and before what I would do is buy more than I needed to and it's just a waste really. So I decided just to get the colors that I'm realistically going to wear and I'm most excited about. So I'll show you those three shades in just a moment. And just to be clear, the ones I didn't get were Lauren and Diana. So they're the more kind of orange coppery tones because even when I was in store, the makeup artist that I spoke to, even he said that they're more summery tones. So even he kind of gra naturally gravitated towards the three colors that I liked too. I definitely think Lauren and Diana are more summer shades. And plus, I believe that they will be better on like warmer skin tones. So if you're more olivey, if you're more tanned or deeper, darker skin tone, then definitely I think they will look stunning on your skin tone rather than my pasty one. So as you can see, I've got some makeup on, base makeup, got a little uh, spot there, Mildred is back. It's, I don't know if you guys are the same, it's the time of the month. Don't want to go into too much detail with that, but that's what tends to happen. So I've got no eye makeup on right now, other than a little bit of tiny, tiny, tiny bit of liner. And I wanted to just save my eyes for her liquid lurex eyeshadow so this is the standard lisa eldridge packaging as you guys are probably already familiar with so i got the shades bianca angelica and liza so this is what it looks like this is bianca which is just swatch for you there this is angelica swatch for you there and lastly this is liza swatch for you there so these are the three shades i picked up now, these were the shades that I naturally just gravitated towards. I just love the look of them. This will be excellent as an overall smoky shadow, but then you could obviously add like a spotlight shade on top of it, even that. You could even slightly blend it in and create that gradation or ombre effect as well. You could even use this as just like an eyeliner. So it depends what brush you use. If you use one that's very slanted, thin, you could definitely use this as an eyeliner. To be honest, you could use that as an eyeliner too. It's just whatever floats your boat. I naturally feel I'm gravitating towards this shade. This looks great as an all over color as well, but then perhaps like a, a pop of color, like an inner corner color just to give your eyes um, some brightness. So. I don't know, I'll just play around with it. I do want to show you all three shades on, so I'll play around with it a bit. I haven't got any primer on on my eyes. Each product has 2.8 mils of product, 
and it's £19 each. They have a shelf life of about six months, meaning once you open it, you've got about six months before it expires. I believe with makeup, it's very common sense. You can absolutely use it for longer, but just give it a sniff, look at the texture. Those things will give you an indicator as to whether it's still fresh. And especially with things around the eyes, I would just be extra cautious because your eyes are very obviously sensitive area. So what I'll do is I'll go in with Angelica first. I'm going to go in with the actual wand. I'll show you the wand as well. So that's what the one looks like it's flat so if you wanted to say do eyeliner i would suggest just like putting a little bit on the back of your hand or a little palette whatever you use and then going in with a brush and then drawing on your eyes so i'm just going to go directly in with the wand on one eye and see what it looks like It doesn't say long wearing, but when I was last at the makeup store, they did say it is a long wearing formula. So let me just quickly blend it in. I'm going to use Lisa's number seven brush to do this. So you guys saw how much product I put on my lid. And to be honest, because I have a smaller lid space, it was a tad too much like I could still get away with it, but just be mindful that a little goes a long way. So far, what I'm seeing is just pow, the effect of the shimmer. Like, how glorious is that? And what I love about it already is some liquid eyeshadows can apply really patchy. So you're as you're spreading the formula on your eyelid, it's a bit blotchy is a little bit missing here there's like spaces and gaps if you know what i mean this doesn't have that at all as you can see you can absolutely blend this out with your finger as well but what a stunning color like this is so so stunning and honestly i can't feel anything on my eyelid so it feels very very light now i feel like a lot of people who watch my videos because i have various age groups that watch my videos and i love that and i often have mature more mature ladies reaching out to me just saying i don't think it's going to suit me because it's got shimmer in it and i feel like this is such a myth that you can't wear shimmers when you're above a certain age i just think it depends on the shimmer itself the finish or how it applies because some shimmers i agree can look very glittery and perhaps some people fear that, you know, it's going to emphasize fine lines or wrinkles, for instance. However, this I believe is suitable for any age and absolutely anyone can wear it because it's just so, 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 so flattering. It's so creamy. It's so easy to blend. So it would work on any eyelid. So please don't be put off by the fact that it's shimmery. So I'm just going to apply onto the other side as well. The same Angelica shades this time. Let me just try blending it out with my finger. So here I've just put a bit less and even that's really pretty. I feel like this is my new favorite shimmery day eyeshadow color. Like this could be a day look and then that could be a night look, right? But I wanna add more. Honestly, I could easily just put on some mascara right now and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to party. I'm ready to shop, food shop. I'm ready to post a letter. I'm ready for the day. So this is such a stunning color. Honestly, the weather is on my side today because it's very, very cold. Hence why I've got my Yeti jumper on, but it's super, super sunny. So we have really got natural daylight. So let me just again quickly swatch Angelica for you before I move on to the next color. So you can see that's just a tiny bit of Angelica blended out and then that's the full pow if you really want to go in and do a, a much thicker base. So let me blend it out a little bit more. There you go. And I don't know if you can see but it's almost like multi-tonal as well. There's like pinks and purples in there but it's such a stunning colour. And more importantly, this is a colour that I feel like would suit so many eye colours. Definitely suits brown. I, um, whether light or dark brown, black um, eyeshadow, eye colours. It will definitely suit like hazel or greeny eyes because it'll bring out the green. It will suit blue eye colours as well. It just suit everybody, honestly. So it's a, an amazing colour. 
Then I'm gonna move on to Bianca, which is a similar. I feel like it's like the younger sister of Angelica, but this is what can also be used as a pop shade. So this time I'm just gonna pop a little bit on the back of my hand, like so. And then I'm going to go in with brush number 15. This is also one that could be used as a lip brush, but I'm going to just put a little bit onto the brush and use it like a highlight. Wow, that's, the pigment is insane. Look at the pop in the inner corner of my eyes. So that's Bianca. What I might do is just add a bit of depth with Liza and then I'll go back in with Bianca in just a moment. So bear with. So this is Bianca. This is a um, like a little bit of Bianca where I've just used a tiny amount and blended it out. And this is the full power Bianca. So it's slightly more lilac-y than Angelica. This absolutely stunning shade. Again, you could easily just wear it all over your eyes. I believe it was the shade that Lisa wore in her most recent video on her eyes. So you'll know what I mean if you saw her re recent video. So like I said, I'm gonna go back to Bianca in just a moment. I want to just touch upon Liza. So this is obviously the smoky shade. You can absolutely use it as a smoky colour all over smoke if you want that real grunge, cool look. Alternatively, you could use it as a liner, like I said earlier. I'm going to use it as a soft smoke. Don't know how. I haven't really made up my mind. So this could go horribly wrong on camera, but let's just try it out. So I'm just going to, again, put a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm actually going to go in with the same number 15 brush. Just going to put the tiniest amount on the tip of the brush. And I want to start at my lash line. So it's just to create a little bit of depth on the eye. And as I'm using these shadows, one thing I'm really getting a sense of is that it really layers well on top of each other. Some liquid shadows look fantastic on its own. But the second you start layering, it starts to get a little bit crusty, even if it was evenly blended before by putting something wet again on top, it suddenly starts crusting off like the base layer. You'll know what I mean. Like the thing that I instantly want to compare it to is Stila. If I still have Stila products for the eyes, I will compare it for you in this video, guys, just, just so that you have a point of comparison. But just bear with. You guys have previously told me you like to see the application, so that's why I am showing you. So can you see, I've just added a little bit of Liza as a depth and then I'm just slowly taking it slightly higher so not any adding any new product I'm just blending out what's there to create almost like an ombre effect like so you can see the slight difference going to do the same on the other eye and honestly because the pigment is so rich you only need the tiniest amount what I love about this shadow as well is that it doesn't look like a child's eyeshadow where it's super sparkly and glittery i mean i don't mind that i love that but like you know sometimes when you see fashion shoots and you see this gorgeous glossy eye but the only way you can perhaps create it is to put like a lip glossy type formula uh, or product on your eyelid and then it just looks horrible because in photographs yes it translates well but in the real world you'll then have gloss stuck on your like eyelid your hair gets stuck to your eyes and then also it creases so it's not realistic or practical to wear day to day so if you like that sort of very glossy shiny eye rather than shimmery almost this is the perfect product for you so look how well that blends in i've got three shadows on and it looks seamless i mean at least i think it does you guys might think differently I mean, comment down below, what do you guys like? What's your favorite color so far? So again, just to show you, that's a tiny bit of Liza, really like blended out. And then that's like intense Liza. So that's Liza during the day and that's Liza at night. Also, I realized I didn't say what I'm wearing on my lips. So I have got Velvet Fawn on, both the lip liner and the lipstick. 
so I just wanted to show you. Velvet Fawn's a really nice nudie colour, especially if you like brown undertones. I normally don't like brownie lipsticks because I feel like they don't really suit me, but this one is amazing and it's great for this kind of autumnal or cooler winter weather. And also I thought if I'm trying on different shades of eyeshadows, then this one would really complement and match it really well, especially with a smoky eye. Now, I will go back in with Bianca. I was actually going to add a spotlight in the centre of my eye, but it's already quite glossy, right? You guys can agree on that. So instead, I will go underneath with some of Bianca. I just want to show you guys how these can really be used and played with. So I just do a tiny bit just to give a bit of brightness under my eye and open up the eye a bit. We're having pizza for lunch later and I think my husband's going to, you know, wonder where I'm off to today. But like, where are you going? Just to the kitchen to have pizza, my dear. I've just put the tiniest amount. By the way, it's way more pigmented than this, as you guys saw here. But I don't want to, to look too pearly, so that's why I've added only the tiniest amount. And that's why using brush number 14 helps because it just diffuses it softly and honestly you guys can see that it works as a day shadow but this is obviously um, i've really built it up to more like an evening eye but you can see how just glamorous and gorgeous it looks but imagine with the artificial lights i feel like glitter sparkle shimmer whatever you want to call it really picks up more in artificial light so it really works well in the day you want it to be a little bit more subtle and then at night time with all the artificial lights if especially if you're going to a nice bar restaurant going dancing the lights will pick up on it and your eyes will just be like shimmering and glittering and it'll just look so so gorgeous so that is the eye look using three shades in the liquid lurex eyeshadows which is liza angelica and bianca like i said i didn't get diana and lauren but i obviously showed you the swatches earlier then wanted to just finish off the eye look by adding an eyeliner with the Hindash Heroline eyeliner. So as you guys um, know, Lisa sells additional products in her pop-up studio that are not her own brand. And the reason why she does this is because she calls it her own edit. It's her selection of products that she really genuinely loves and wants to promote and help promote in her store. So obviously I showed you previously the Born in the Sun headband that I purchased. It's the Kimiko brows. So there's the brow gel and then the brow pencil. As you know, she also sells um, nail polishes, but she also sells Hindash products. So she sells the Hindash Butopsy, I think it's like a pressed pigment gradient palette, which I have. I didn't actually buy it from Lisa's pop-up studio. I bought this before that because I love the look of this palette. So it's just there. And obviously I won't go into too much detail because this video is not for you know promoting Hindash um, but it's a really wonderful palette if you like a palette that is multifunctional multi-purpose you can literally do a full face look with this so I will add the link of the I think I did like either an IGTV or a reel using this one palette to do almost a full face look so I'll add the link for that down below and talking about links I'll also add any links of things that I'm wearing face wise like jewelry anything that i can potentially link down below anything that's a live link is an affiliate link it just means that if you decide to purchase anything that i mention it won't cost you anything additionally it just means that i will earn a small commission from it now let me just quickly apply the hindash hero line eyeliner or hero line so this is what it looks like the outer packaging it's silver looks pretty cool it looks like a pen and it's £19.50. It's only available in black, I understand. And it's just like a standard liquid liner. Well, I say standard, but I'm sure it's very good if Lisa promotes it. So let me just quickly apply this off camera. I'm sure you guys don't need to see me applying liner. And I will be back with you in just a moment. I just wanted to show you the before and after before I continue with the other eye. So this is with the liner and this is without. So you can see it makes a difference, right? I decided to just go um, a bit more dramatic with the liner on both sides, go big or go home, just because my eye is quite dramatic already, so I just added a little bit more, 
and actually this liner is fantastic the nib is really really fantastic it's really the perfect nib it allows you to do really thin precise delicate lines but also you can build it up and it's got the right amount of firmness so your brush isn't flip flopping so you can still maintain that control whilst doing your eyeliner so this is the eye look do you know what i might just add a little bit more of liza look i'm just playing with this it's just as new to me as it is to you guys so let me just add a little bit more smoke with liza just almost like on top of the hindash liner and i'm just bouncing it along the liner line so i'm not removing it there can you see i've just added a little bit more liza on top of my liner so i just went off camera and added a little bit of mascara um my lashes aren't the best right now only because i recently removed false lashes so like extensions and i loved the extensions and i hadn't done them since i got married i think like eight years ago um so it was like a really nice experience to be able to wake up and look slightly more human than i normally would without the extensions on but it's not that it ruined my lashes, but I do find that my lashes are more sparse once I remove anything like that. So I'm just kind of nurturing it at the moment with lash serum and um, I'm giving it like a two week break, I think, before I then do LVL, before I fly to Korea, hopefully. So that's why my lashes aren't the best right now, but I just added a little bit of mascara using the Wayne Goss, um, I think, waterproof mascara. Now... Before I sign off, I just want to compare it to other liquid shadows, like I said I would. I obviously don't have all the liquid liners, but I found three that I thought I could compare it to. Three brands, by the way. So I have got some of the uh, Stila Glitter and Glow eyeshadows. So I'll try and compare that for you quickly. The MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquids. And then the House Laboratories one, which is a Lady Gaga brand. So I'll just quickly compare some of the shadows for you. So for instance, if I go for the darkest shade with Lisa's, it's obviously Liza. It can look like a black, but I would say it's more like a gunmetal grey. So it's a dark gunmetal grey. And then I would compare it to Lady Gaga's brand House Laboratories in the colour Glam Attack. What I will say from having used Lady Gaga's one a few times before is that it's a little bit more watery and as much as I love them, I feel like it can sometimes apply a little bit patchy, which for me I don't mind as such, but I know that they don't really layer as well as a result, whereas Lisa's layered so, so beautifully. So that is Lisa Eldridge's Liza and this is House Laboratories glam attack i know the color is not quite the same but i just wanted to show you like the deepest shades and kind of do somewhat of a comparison for you in terms of max dazzle shadow liquid eyeshadows this color i just did one swipe and it was boom on and that's exactly like lisa eldridge's one however as you can see with the slightly lighter shades can you see where it's a little bit patchy just there and more importantly the glit the glitter well, the shimmer particle is a lot more chunky so and it's a lot more transparent as well now some of you might like that some of you might like that kind of transparent glittery look and you might like that chunky glitter look but otherwise you can see lisa's one is a little bit more sophisticated for want of a better word and like i said lisa's one isn't that kind of chunky glitter or obvious sparkle look it just looks wet like a gloss or like patent leather like it's got that shiny glossy look and finish sorry i just realized the dark color from house laboratories earlier um the black one is actually not glam attack glam attack is the liquid eyeshadow range name and the colors chained ballerina now i'll show you some shades from Stila. Just wanted to compare Steelers with Lisa Eldridge's. So this is Steelers, I think it's Shimmer and Glow. So they've got like Glitter and Glow and Shimmer and Glow. So this is Shimmer and Glow and it's a shade called Jezebel. And then two of Lisa's colour uh, shades, which you just saw, which is Bianca and Angelica. So as you can see, they're very similar in terms of like, it's like they're in the same shade and tone family. Jezebel is a little bit more rose gold though. And then... You can see the finish is very similar. It's got that kind of metallic-y finish and it looks very pigmented as well. And it is. The only thing I would say about 
stealer is sometimes with the glittery stuff it can dry a little bit crusty i don't know how else to explain it there can be like it can really dry down and you can sometimes feel it on your eyes maybe that's just me but with leases even now where it's dried down i can't feel anything and there's nothing on my finger so that's the main difference but i would say the closest formula to leases liquid eyeshadows is actually the stealer as opposed to the MAC or the House Laboratories, especially in the Shimmer and Glow range. If you've got the Shimmer and Glow Steel or Liquid Eyeshadow in your collection, it's the closest to Lisa Eldridge's Lurex eyeshadows. Lastly, I just wanted to show you two from her, from Steeler's Glitter and Glow range. So we have got Diamond Dust, which is this one here, which is very silvery. And then we've got Smoldering Satin, which is this one here just above it. So this is the one I was talking to you about earlier when I said that it's quite a chunky glitter. So this is so fun to wear. It's perfect for parties. It's perfect if you really want pow in your face glitter. It's definitely that. As you can see, like it's blinding. You need sunglasses to look at it. Um, the only thing about this is, like I said, the, the glitter is very chunky, so it will feel a little bit more bitty and there sometimes can be glitter fallout. So that's something just to be mindful of. But like I said, the most um, similar comparison I can give you is the Shimmer and Glow, which is the top one just there uh, with Lisa's Lurex eyeshadow. There could be ones on the market that are exact dupes, but I obviously don't own all the liquid eyeshadows in the world. So I hope you found that comparison useful. And yeah, this is my final eye look. What do you guys think? It's fully dried down now and it looks exactly the same. It feels exactly the same, very light and wearable. Was there a favorite color that you had? Let me know your comments down below. And also let me know, cause I'm getting my brows re-laminated again. Brow lamination, I, I just really love it. I've had it done like twice now and I need a top up very very soon so when I get that top up done please let me know if you would like to see it I've already had some requests I'm thinking of doing like a sped up reel on Instagram so if you are interested let me know comment down below and if you aren't already follow me on Instagram my channel handle is just above otherwise I look forward to seeing you on the next video and I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend take care guys